Welcome back. In the previous video, we played around with the grid system. So in this video, we are going to implement this layout. So before we go back to code, let me show you the logic I use here. I provided a container for the whole product here. And then I gave it margin top negative to push it upwards, as we see here. So I'm going to have a wrapper that's going to wrap all my products here and i call these two products here as featured product so let's go back to vs code and then do that so before we get started i will also show you how you can also use the sx to implement responsive design for example you can see that hey on a small screen this text might be bigger or larger depending on your need so let's go back to VS Code. I'm inside the component and here I'm going to create one more folder and I'll call this one product. And I want to create one file and call this one product container. .js. So let me scaffold the snippet here and there we go. So looking at this, this one will be the parent, right? So definitely I will need my box component. There we go. So this is gonna wrap that, all right? So inside, then I have my product details here, product list. So here for this box, I'm going to have the featured product, featured product. I'm also gonna have the product list. All right, so this will take some available space in some height and margin. So for the meantime, let's provide this one main height. Let me provide the SX prop here. Sorry. The SX prop here inside the box. SX prop. We're going to add some class name to it. And let me give this one main height as what? 60VH. And let me provide margin right. Somehow I'm using this shorthand notation. Margin right is supposed to be two, and then margin left also two. And let me say margin top. Let me give this one negative 23. All right, and let me give this one some background color so you can see the effect now. So when I save this one, then let me go to the app here, and here let me bring in the product container here product container the auto import is third so let me uncomment this one back and remove the gray playground component so when i save this one and i go back to the application there we go so now that i have my container i can now lay out my featured product inside so inside this here I'm going to start with the featured products and as you can see we have two grid layout one here one item here and then other here so i'm going to have one as what the grid so let me quickly bring in the grid component as that and let me import it let me see the auto import i think it's working good so inside this one, this great container for the featured product, I'll provide some class name SX and I'll say margin bottom, let me give it four. And I want to mark this one as a container so that it's the chart or the items is going to obey the, the flow, the direction. Let me have some spacing, spacing of two around each of the items. All right, so now I have my container here now I need to have two great items, right? So great one here. Let me call this one item as explain that. And let me give this one as value of one. And let me copy the item here second time. Cool. And let me call this one two also. So when I save this one, so let me check it out in the, there we go. You see that we have it here, one and two. So, I want it to take some available space evenly distributed. So on medium screen, this one should take six. Therefore, this one, the remaining one will be six too. So let me provide this one as that. For the meantime, let's go ahead and place in some dummy text and see what we have done. 
so paste it here into the individual grid items and now let's see what we have there we go we have that because i provide some spacing of two so i have the spacing here cool so now i have my grid items i can also create my flexible layout depending how i want it inside this grid item so you look at looking at this project here i have one image and then some text here and these are in rows right so when i reduce the screen size telling you how we can implement the responsive design using the ss prop when i do the screen size here you can see that it's a change to what column right but on live screen is what they are in rows i'm talking about the grid items here so because of that i'm going to provide a box component and the box component one this one going to be the image also as an image and other one as what as children as text sorry and i'll have one div that's going to wrap these two items here so let's quickly go ahead and do that all right so inside the box so let me remove this one for now and then let me bring in the box component and this one going to be an image an image as self closing tag so I'll give it a component as mg as that and i'll provide the src the source of the image right and the image is inside images i'll provide all the images for you or you can use any image of your choice let me call this one product product and then the image is called f1.png so save it and let's see what we have there we go we have that cool so next is let's work on the text right so now like i showed i told you i'm going to provide some responsive layout for this so on a smaller screen i want to have some height on a large screen i want to have some height too so let me show you how i'm going to do the responsive layout for that so now i'm inside the box so i'll provide sss sx prop and now here comes the logic all right so on the weight i want to provide the weight of the image and i will say that on the small screen it should take the available weight that's 100 percent so i will say that i'll provide an object as that and no i think here okay two carry braces right and i'll provide weight as that and the weight as an object and here i will say that on extra small screen xs i will say it should take 100 percent of the available height with and then on large screen i will say it should take 40 percent of the image height width so when i save this let's check it out as you can see here now we have 40 percent but when i in reduce the screen size here as you can see it has taken what 100 percent so now let me remove the background here it's no more i want to have that transparent there we go when i reduce the screen size you see that we have 100 percent and this is how i want it pretty much good right so next is let's quickly go ahead and lay out the other ones right cool so now we have the image and remember this appearance right sorry wait, this one okay we have the parent for this one now it's time to lay out the other items so here inside the chart items one here after the box component let's bring a, a box component also to lay out the text that is the i mean the winter seal description price and this button here so inside that let me provide the typography and i don't waste my time on typing on that so i'll copy that so inside that i have first typography and i just pass in the access prop and the font is bold so they can pause this video and type and after the this typography and below the so let me paste it here and you have two one typography and some text all right so let's check it out and see the effect now our typography is not imported so let me import it here typography and check it out uh, right there we go we have it so next is look at the final one we have some 
text here pricing and some button and then also copy that and because you have done this one couple of times the text and just passing some class name so after the typography for the description let me paste this one also here and give it the price $520 and give it the font bold and color and then as that and variant of six so let's see yeah there we go and the last thing is going to be the button here and we can import that so below the pricing of pricing typography let me paste the button here and give it a size of medium and description called alt to cut okay i think button is not also imported so let me import it here as that okay cool so now <clears throat> let's check it out there we go but on the last screen i want to have it to be in a row so i have to go to the parent and change this one to that and say that hey on the last screen i want this good items here to be in rows so i'll head over to the um parent that is the flex item one because this one holds this image and that so over here for the grid item one here I'll pass in some flex properties, right? So I will say, hey, SX prop here. Oh, I have it. No, 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 I don't have it. So SX prop here. And before that, I will say display flex, right? And here, how do I check? Say that, hey, on this last screen, give a, just a flex direction to be row or column. And like I did in the previous video, provide the property name, flex direction and provide an object and you can say that hey on the extra small screen that's extra small ss sometimes I get confused with about the s x and xs right so on xs smaller screen give it column and then on large screen let's give it as what row as that so let's check it out and see now there you go i'll provide some margin here so provide some just five content also <clears throat> so here you will see that just five content here to be center to be center of the page and align items also to be center so let's provide the align items also to be center of the page and let's see there we go all right i'll provide some margin top here to like can push the next on the white background so let's check it out when i reduce the screen size of it and let's say you see that on a smaller screen i have that cool that is pretty awesome right okay so now that i have it so let me have some margin here about the image so for the image i will say that margin top right i'm gonna give it margin top of the image or I should give it to the description, sorry, on the description rather, because I have the text here, this box component, right? So let me have some margin and padding. So I'll provide SX prop here. And then I will say padding left, padding left here. Let me give it as 10 physics. And on the margin top, also some responsive class name so i'll see the margin top on a large screen give it 20 and then on the extra small screen i will say give it a margin top of two so let's see i think it looks good now so now let me copy the the whole item and replace with this one right and change the image so i have the great item here so it start from line number 10 up to line number 45 so i'll copy that make sure it ends at line number 10 copy that and replace this grid item to here with that and just change the image to two so let's see and there we go we have it so now we're able to implement that in the next video we are going to use the same grid system to create these um, categories here and work on the other product list as well.